is Tuesday, 20th of September 2016. This is Sylvia Shwemurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adivaneng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Power generation increase a must to avoid blackouts. Power plants of the Ceylon Electricity Board's least cost long-term generation expansion plan of 2015 to 2034 have to be commissioned to avoid a power crisis in 2018, Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka sources said yesterday. The CEB, it is learned, has proposed a series of alternative power plants to counter the power shortage left in the wake of the Sampur coal power plant being no longer feasible. The controversial coal power plant was recently scrapped due to strong environmental concerns. The highlight in the middle says, Inmigment again PISA. High Court calls for original case record. The Colombo High Court yesterday ordered the register of the Colombo Fort Magistrate Court that the original case recording pertaining to the indictment filed against former UNP General Secretary Tisatanayaka be handed over to the Colombo High Court. And the highlight at the bottom says, Former DIG was, wife, son granted bail over abduction case. Eight accused including former DIG Vas Gunavardhana, his son Ravindu Vas Gunavardhana and wife Shamali Priyadarshini Pereira were yesterday ordered to be released on bail by the High Court for allegedly abducting and assaulting Nipuna Ramanayaka, a student attached to the Sri Lanka Institute Information Technology on August 2009. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, Was, wife, son, five others indicted. Another highlight says, Nuan Kulasekara released on bail. Fast bowler Nuan Kulasekara was arrested and later released on bail following a fatal accident involving his vehicle at Ranmudagala Kadavata last evening, police said. The highlight in the middle says, Avoid Zika countries. While claiming that there was no a single case of infection of Zika virus reported in the country up to now, Director General of Health Services Dr. Palita Mahipala yesterday said the public must be extremely cautious about a possible Zika outbreak and expectant mother in particular must delay or refrain from travelling to a Zika-affected country as infection of a pregnant mother could affect the brain of the child. And the highlight at the bottom says, New York bombing suspect identified. U.S. officials are looking for Ahmad Khan Rahami, a naturalized U.S. citizen who was born in Afghanistan, for questioning of explosions in New York and New Jersey on Saturday. The FBI warned that the suspect is armed and dangerous. And now, let's move to the paper highlights in Salon today. The top highlight says, Two brothers drown in Calcutta. Parents commit suicide. Unable to come out to grips with the death of their two sons who drowned in Calcutta on 18 September, the parents committed suicide by hanging early yesterday morning, the Calcutta police said. They said that Navy divers have been able to recover the body of boy, 21-year-old Shanmugam Sadip Kumar, the elder of the two brothers. The police and Navy were making further efforts to recover the body of 18-year-old Suresh Kumar, the other victim in the sea tragedy. The two parents were found hanging from a cashew tree in the garden, being unable to bear the loss of their sons. They have been identified as 54-year-old Velipile Shanmuham and his 46-year-old wife Yog Lakshmi. Further investigations are being carried out by the Calcutta police. The post-mortem on the body of the drowned 21-year-old youth was to be conducted at the Varichini Hospital yesterday. The highlight in the middle says, FCID grills Chandrasena. Former Minister and the Joint Opposition's SLFP Anuradhapura District Parliamentarian SM Chandrasena was grilled yesterday by the Financial Crime Investigation Division over the misappropriation of funds to the tune of 20 million rupees in the distribution of wheat seed during the previous regime. And the highlight at the bottom says, MR says still enough time to amend what? Former President and Kurnagala District MP Mahinda Rajapaksha in a press communicate released yesterday said there was still time for the government to make amendments to VAT, commenting on the gazetted bill to increase the currently applicable VAT rate by 36%. He noted the VAT on goods and services will increase from 11% to 15% and cause further hardship on the consumer. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.